Hey guys, this is Vigilito from Vigilito Can Studio and today I'm going to show you my workflow working in the AAA industry and how we clean up mocap data. So uh, efficient workflow with Cascador as we have been using for a long time now. We go through everything, clean it up and make it playable, loopable and take it to the poses that we want. Initially you just start with figuring out what's the biggest issue, right? Start with the big ones and then you start to kind of polish it. So first of all, we start with unbaking it so we don't have to move through every frame or yeah, you know, the magic tool of Cascador. Moving forward, we have already spotted that he's above the ground. Cascador would like you to lower him before, but this works usually. So what I do is just interval edit mode, lower the character when selecting all the frames. And for the most, that's pretty much what you need to do. Some tweaks needs to be done where the foot is clipping through the ground, but yeah, you get the workflow. And then we see the arm has a weird twist as well. And we just start by examining it and see where it breaks. It's a good workflow to always check the original data, why it is like it is. So as you can see, the character pushes the hand of his opponent and that is why the angle is like it is. But as we also could see, we could see that this one, the last part, is needed. So this is correct. And then we have to just find out where it breaks. So this is a push, but this is wrong. So initially all we do is just use Shift C on the frames that we needed with interval edit mode of course. And that would just let the auto pause pause the character's hand as it sees fit. And usually that's it. As the tool is taking into consideration the elbow, the shoulder, the fingers, I mean, it just works. And this saves a lot of time. So now it has the original motion and we just removed what's broken. Now you can see the elbow as well has like a weird twist and it doesn't look natural. The one part of the hand is twisted more than the other. And the same workflow here, if you just select it and then shift C, you will see it getting a more accurate twist. So here you can see it looks much more even and the twist is going through the arm from the shoulder and all the way to the hand. And again, just one auto pause and done. So I'm using some time to just go through this, but usually the time consumption on doing work like this when you have the workflow down, it's insane. Especially if you come from a background like Maya, Blender. Yeah, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're new to Cascador, this is a great software to start with. Because why learn everything that's harder than it needs to be? So moving on, it's just keeping on finding issues. So here I take the hand a little bit back just to be sure that I don't get an IK stretch. As well as all the frames, I remove the elbow. So the auto pausing would just pause it and I know every frame gonna be correct. Of course, always double check this, but initially I would say it almost always fixes it. So now that the hand is looking much, much better, then we have these fingers. Uh, it might be correct, it might not be, but it looks weird. It's, it's sticking out and it's too much focus on them. Like maybe he had a thing, but usually these things when it's extreme motion, it comes from a bad glove or a bad recording, you know, usual stuff. So 
it's the same workflow here as well. Just select the scene uh, or select the frames, shift C it, and then it will stabilize. As you can see, it was initial bone as well here and fix that and the finger looks better. And then shift C on that as well. And we are already having hands that look so much more natural. Sometimes you just have to watch fingers because if you watch finger animation, which is really hard to do and make it look fluid, we are doing weird stuff with our fingers that we don't think about holding up certain fingers when moving and stuff like that. So be careful removing data like this. You should check it out or try it or test it or look at references. 